How would my exes describe our relationship? Hmm. Um, that's a hard question. <laughs> so, we met at... How do you say I stole my friend's boyfriend nicely? At an athletic event that we were both working. School, college, sophomore year, I believe. She thought my best physical feature was... The tattoos. Definitely a smile. His smile. And I thought her best physical feature was... The butt. Definitely her fat ass, can't lie. I have a thing for... for that. Definitely say my boobs. Kamara, I would definitely say eyes. Definitely her eyes. My lips. Shalene, definitely her lips. My type is... Sex appeal. Girls who are smart. Big ass. Like intelligence really is attractive to me. Who made the first move? I was flirtatious first. He was the aggressor first, like physically. I did. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm going back to the dorms. What are you doing? I was like, oh, I'll come. We could play video games this and the third. Mind you, I don't play video games. The entire night, I was literally sitting on his bed and he was playing the game as if I wasn't even there. He did. Her first impression of me was? Whoa. When I did meet him, I didn't have the intentions on taking <laughs> My friend's boyfriend. She definitely usually dates older men. I was wondering why she chose him, but I did think that he was cute. He was amicable. My type is usually older, so I wasn't really that attracted to him at first. Our first date was? He took me to Grand Lux. We actually weren't supposed to be there because he was still in a relationship with my friend at the time. Did you guys find Doing what you're not supposed to do, I think is always fun. I actually went to Shake Shack just to grab food. We went to Del Frisco's. He obviously paid. We dated for six months. In total, almost two years. I believe seven months. We broke up because. We broke up because they started as secret OnlyFans and he found out. He made a OnlyFans straight birthday suit, ass out red hair, and red hair is just a sign of toxic to me, so red hair and you naked. And it's like pictures, that should be just for me. I understand this business, I don't wanna knock or hustle, but it's not gonna be with me. I went through his phone and I found out he was cheating and I just looked at him like, I could have been doing the same thing. Like, are you serious? So, don't go through people's phones. He was sleeping. It had the facial recognition and it just scanned and I went through his phone. The messages she saw were just nude, straight ass and boobs and when are you gonna see me again and last night was great and pretty much caught red-handed. <laughs> I found out that he was screwing one of my friends. We went to some party together and with them being there together, I felt some weird vibes. I went through her phone and little did I know, they were really each other. My worst habit was... He thinks that he's always right not comprehending because every single time we talk, I literally had to dumb it down for him. Messy. And her worst habit was? I also think that I'm also right. Taking forever to get ready. I'm not emotionally available and it got very frustrating for him. Kamara always nagging, always trying to argue. I feel like she likes to pick fights for sport. So neat. <laughs> and Shirlene snoring loudly, like a bear in hibernation, definitely. And the worst thing I did to her was blocking me on everything after finding out about the OnlyFans. I feel like we were better than that. I feel like we could have definitely discussed it like adults. So instead of actually breaking up with her, I just stopped talking to her and she was like hurt for a long time about that. The worst thing he did was cheat on me. I didn't invite her to my birthday party. She was my girlfriend, and she was very upset at the time. And I didn't invite her because I wanted to be with other girls because I'm the birthday boy. Screw one of my closest friends. And get with her friend. <laughs> it's not nothing to laugh about, but yeah, that's like the worst thing. Were we in love? I don't know. <laughs> we weren't in love. I was in love with her ass. I think we were infatuated with each other, but definitely not in love. I would say I was. Yeah, definitely. No. No. I got over the breakup after. It took him about three months. He got with that girl shortly after me. So not at long at all, literally. I thought I got over her after like a month, but like it really took like a couple, four or five months. I don't even think he needed much time. 
About a month or two. She got over the breakup after. I would say it took me about six months. I took a nine month hiatus. I was over with it by the time it ended. The best picture of us. He's covering his face because it is before my friend found out about our relationship. At a Thai spot in Bed-Stuy, he made me laugh all night. At a hookah lounge in Queens. When I look back at this picture, I really can't believe like I was wearing sneakers. It's so crazy. Our sex life was. I definitely, you know, told him not this, do that, and he would comply, so. I, I definitely did train him well. Taylor, Taylor nasty, Taylor's a freak. Like, and she used these mints to make her mouth water so you could have an idea of how nasty, definitely. I had to teach him the ways of my body because he didn't know that every woman's body is differently, so every woman comes differently. <laughs> Trash. In the morning, I always play video games, make his bed, text me good morning, beautiful. The best thing I did for her was it helps me to be more open minded. He showed me how smart I can be. He paid my rent, so that was one thing Jason was good for. I could be better at he could be less possessive, being vulnerable, keeping his dick in his pants. She introduced me to different types of cuisine, types of Asian foods, and African foods. Classiness. <laughs> she knew my favorite food was chicken tenders and fries. American chicken fingers or burger. I think Jamaican food. Chicken fingers and fries anywhere, everywhere. Did we say I love you? We said I love you in a generic manner. In bed. No, we never said I loved you, but it was like a mutual understanding. He definitely did once, but that was during oral sex, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> My favorite musician is Tory Lanez, Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Christopher Maurice Brown. My favorite sports team is the Knicks. The Lakers? Lakers. Uh, wherever LeBron James is. So right now, the Lakers. She knows I hate. Jason is really lazy. Long lashes. Driving all the way to Jersey to come see me. Ketchup. Can't stand ketchup. The smell, the look, everything about it is disgusting. Who's more likely to win an argument? Me. me. I think she would tell my future partners. I would tell them watch out for him and your friends because, you know. I would say don't go through his phone. <laughs> Run. <laughs> what am I looking for? Ambitious like he is because he's very multifaceted. Someone he can settle down with now that he's literally spun the block around and whatnot. A girl with a fat ass that just wants to have fun. He likes a girl that just wants to have fun. Ambitious and intelligent. A woman that I feel like can support me in areas that I'm weak in or lack in. Would we date again? No, mainly because I don't go back and date anyone again. No, some people are just meant to be friends. Hell no. <laughs> I wouldn't date any of them again. Keep things in the past. And we have great friendships to this day, so I wouldn't want to tarnish that.